Good morning, everyone. Hopefully everyone's having a good Saturday morning. Uh, today's video, I'm going to address uh, questions about the Model X. There have been a lot of comments about specific questions about specific areas of the Model X. I want to address those like the Falcon wing doors, luggage space, uh, several little things, but I'm going to attack each one of them one at a time. And hopefully these will answer uh, all the questions that have been submitted to the channel. The first thing I wanted to show was the trunk space in the Model X. I have the two, I have the third row seats down. Here's what this compartment looks like. It's really deep. I have some luggage. I'm gonna, actually what I'll do is I'm going to keep that up and I'm gonna place a normal size carry-on. As you can see, just laying it flat, you can see the room there. You can actually put a uh, maybe another backpack or two there, but you can probably get one large carry-on in the back of the frunk with a, with a backpack. But if I take it out, let's see how much luggage we can get in there. There's one large bag. There's a second large bag. Average size carry-on, average size carry-on. Another average size carry-on, and you still have the lower space uh, underneath this, this section here. And that's with um, the uh, seats, uh, the third row seats down. I'm gonna raise the seats up and see how much of this luggage we can get in there. So now I'm gonna bring this seat forward by pressing this button here, and I'm gonna lift the third row seats in and see how much luggage we can get in that way. So it, moves that, it moves back with just one tap. That seat pops right in. I'll do the same with this side. One tap. Press the button here, lift it up. And now both seats in the third row are up. So now let's see what we can get in the back here. One large bag. I don't think the back latch will close with that. So, we'll take a carry-on. We'll put it in here. We can put another backpack in there, in that area there. Then, maybe a couple of other carry-ons. One there. Maybe. Um, I don't know if it will close. It may close with, the with one of the third row seats down, but so that's how much you can get in with the third row seats up. And as I showed previously with the third row seats down. So here's my Model Y. I have the seats up and just for reference, I'm gonna see how many bags I can get in the Model Y. So in the Model Y, we have this bottom area as well. So we could probably place, so there's one carry-on in there. You can see what it looks like. So if I close this, close this completely. And if I take the same luggage, Look at that. You've got a carry-on in here, two large checked-in bags, and an additional two carry-ons, and it fits perfectly. And we don't even have the seats down. With the seats down, we can probably easily add another two large checked-in pieces of luggage and another two uh, carry-on pieces of luggage. So the Model Y definitely has more space than the Model X with the six seat configuration. Could be more space with the uh, five person or seven person. So definitely the Model Y's got more space in the Model X. We'll check the front space in the Model X and the front space in the Model Y. So 
So here's the front of the Model X. You can definitely fit one piece of carry-on, maybe two pieces of carry-on or, or a few uh, backpacks here. And here's the front space of the Model Y. As you can see, you can definitely put a carry-on and maybe a backpack or a few backpacks in here as well. The height of the door, of the Falcon Wing door. You can use me for reference. I'm about 5'9", 5'10", 5'10 on a good day. And there's probably a good, I don't know, four or five inches here between my head and the top portion of the Model X. So there's plenty of room there where you can just literally sit right in. The second thing that I was asked, since I'm standing here by the Falcon Wing door, is how, how far these seats, the second row seats, recline. So, so I'm sitting in the second row. This seat right here in the front is set for me. I've got plenty of leg room. And in order to recline it, it actually doesn't recline like a lazy boy. Like this seat, this the back portion reclines back and forth or inclines. This one, with this, the entire seat, the entire seat moves. So that's as far as it goes back. If I go bring it forward, all it is is the seat angling. It's not going back and forth, it's just angling. So this is the lowest part here, and then this is the highest recline here. So it's definitely comfortable. I could see myself taking a nap on a long road trip. So plenty of space back here. So that's as far back as this will uh, angle or recline. One of the other questions that I was asked was about the suspension height on the Model X. So if you go to the settings and you come to the suspension portion, you've got these settings here. Um, right now I have the uh, adaptive suspension dampening set to auto, but you also have comfort, sport, and advance. And along with that comes the ride height. You can go from very low to low medium high and very high I had reference this area in a previous video that it may be a screen. Um, I went on some blogs that had mentioned in the beginning that that could be a screen. However, um, now I read that it's actually not a screen. It's aesthetics. It's, it's to sort of continue. This look here, if you come across, you see it also happens here at the end of the ga gauge cluster. So that is not a screen. I think that is a piece of uh, clear plastic uh, for the aesthetics of the car. So I think I answered most of the questions uh, that I could find in the comment section. There was a question about a 110 outlet. I could not find a 110 outlet in here. There are USB-Cs um, in the front, in the back, in the third row. Noise canceling, I can't find noise canceling on the user interface. I know that when I received the download, it said that it was going to do it uh, actively. When, when the speakers detected sound, then they would turn on uh, on their own. Someone also asked about the processor in the user interface. Um, I'm gonna work on another video, a more detailed look at the user interface, things that I've learned since the update um, and things I've been learning as I've been driving the car. So I'm gonna do another video on that specifically. So if you guys have any other questions that I missed, please submit them in the comment section. I will answer them. And again, thanks to everyone who's been giving me the thumbs up, who've been giving me these really positive comments but especially everyone subscribing, I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys are having a great Saturday. It's freezing here, it's six degrees, but it's sunny. And uh, thanks for watching and on to the next one and I'll see you guys next time.